right, so uh, 4.3, Kramer's Rule now, so we're going to take a look at what Kramer's Rule is and how these determinants can even help us in the first place. So Kramer's Rule is basically used to solve systems with matrices. So we talked about in Chapter 3 systems of equations, and we talked about solving them algebraically. Well, guess what? You can now use Kramer's Rule to solve these using determinants. So all that stuff we did, we can actually use determinants to solve them. And basically what I'm saying is you take the determinant of the answer and the, notice how it's the first, or sorry, it's the y's. So the answer and the y's divided by the determinant of the x's and y's. Now, keep this in mind, the bottom is always the same here. There's x and y. See this? See how it's a, b, c, d, a, b, c, d? That's always the same. It's the x, then the y. It's the x and the y. The bottom is the same. So notice how when I'm solving for x, x has the answer in that column. See that? This is the x column down here. Up top, see how the answer is in the x column. When I'm solving for y, the y has the answer in that column. See how it's bd, and that's y's up here? So here's x column, x column, x column, x column. Down here it's y column, and then the answer on the top is in for y. You see what I mean there? So when we are doing this, I need to find the determinant for x and the determinant for y. So let's look at x. The bottom is just the x, y, x, y across. See that? 8, 5, 2, negative 4. That's the bottom. Since I'm solving for x, I take out the x comma and I put the answer in there. So instead of putting 8 and 2 there, I put in 2 and negative 10. And see how the y's are still the same. So to find the determinant of the top and the bottom, right? Um, down, which is negative 8, minus up, which is negative 50. So the top gives me negative 8 plus 50, which is 42. On the bottom, I do down, which is negative 32, minus up, which is negative 10. So I get negative 42. So really, I have 42 divided by negative 42, which is negative 1. So that means x is negative 1. To find y, Notice how the bottom is exactly the same, so it's 8, 5, 2, negative 4, 8, 5, 2, negative 4. Now since I'm solving for y, the y has the answer in it. So see how the x's are the same? But now I took the y out and put 2, negative 10. So 8 times negative 10, so it's down, is negative 80, minus up, which is negative 4, so that's negative 84. And notice how the bottom's the same, right? You see that? So instead of doing the determinant again, remember the bottom is identical. So don't do all that stuff again. We already know the bottom's negative 42, right? We already know that. So I basically just do negative 84 divided by negative 42, and the answer is 2. So negative 1 and 2 is the answer. I had an Kramer's rule for a 3 by 3 gets a little more intense, but you can still do it. So in, in, we never did 3.6 because I personally thought that 3.6 is a waste of your time solving um, systems with three variables in it. So the whole point is we can use Kramer's rule to solve it instead. Now, just like the determinant for the last one, it's the same rule still apply. Look at the bottom. See how it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. It's all the X's, all the Y's, all the Z's. All the x's, y's, and z's for all of them is on the bottom. See that? All of them are on the bottom. So all of the x's, see? All of the y's, all of the z's, they're all on the bottom. So this is what I also want you to keep in mind, just like the last problem, we're solving for x, right? So here's x. Notice how x has the answers in that column, but the y's are the same and the z's are the same. Now we're solving for y. So notice how the x's are the same and the z's are the same, but the y we put the answers in. And now that we're solving for z, notice how the x's are the same, the y's are the same, but the z we put the answer in for. Okay? Cage matches? Yeah, they work. How could they not? So the atomic weight of three work. compounds are shown. Cage use a linear system. So we have that. So basically the atomic weight is 16, 92, and 18. So how do I set this up? C plus, I put that out in front, 4H plus there is no O equals 16. 3C plus 8H plus 3O equals 92. There is no C, so that's why I have that open. There's 2H 
and just an O, and that equals 18. So when I go and set this up, when I'm going to set this up, um, the bottom is 1, 4, 0, because there is none there. 3, 8, 3, right, because that's there. Then 0, 2, and there's 1, O. Oh. See that? Since I'm solving for x, I took the answer column and I plugged that in for the x column there. And there is the same bottom and top for the y and z. And we can do all that work, but this is where I do drastically recommend you use the calculator. It's under the matrix function. Go to determinant and plug each of these matrix in. You need to go to edit and plug these matrices in before you do that. And you end up getting that the answer is 12 for the determinant of the top divided by the determinant of the bottom. When you do this, notice that the bottom is exactly the same, right? But now since I'm solving for the Y column, I have a 16, a 92, and an 18 in there instead. Once again, I strongly recommend for 3x3s three that you use a calculator. And when you do, you get 1 for your answer. Oh, oh great Odin Thraven. So notice how the bottom is the same again. 1, 3, 0, 4, 8, 2, 0, 3, 1. Those are all of the uh, X, Y, and Zs. And now since I'm solving for Z, the answer went in for Z. See how X and Y are the same, and we got 16. So those are all of your answers, X, Y, and Z, for the problem. So we have some worksheets that you can work on, worksheets that you can do. Uh, we're going to do worksheets 4.3, B and C, and finish those up for homework then. Um, what you'll need drastic help on, though, is... Um, figuring out how to plug it in on the calculator. So um, see me in class about it, and I will try to go over it in a little more detail um, on some uh, examples here that I will put on later so you can see how to actually use the calculator to solve um, these problems to make it a little easier for you. But you got to know how to plug them in. So you got to edit the matrices and put in the rows by the columns and fill them all in. So if you know how to do that, you should be good. And if you don't, um, solving three by threes will be a little more challenging than you want them to be. But you definitely should know how to do a two by two um, without using a calculator. If you have any other questions or concerns, please email me.